Hi you guys, I'm back. Welcome back to our kitchen. I hope this uh, video finds you guys all well, that you guys are all taking care of yourself, masking it, doing your immune system thing. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside today. Uh, welcome to today's taste test. So um, let's go and look at what we've made so far. So, so far, if you look here to the back, We've got our blackberry lemon jam. We've got some grapefruit marmalade that we've made here, okay? And then also most recently, we've also made a peach jam as well. So that's what we have, our newest flavors that we have here for you guys today. Um, they're gonna be the ones that we're gonna be doing in our taste test, okay? So we're gonna do an honest assessment I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited as well. Um, I think I'm gonna start off with having Hubby taste it first because mm. uh, I wanna get his unbiased. You know, he does not cut me any slack. So <laughs> I'm gonna have him taste it first. And without further ado, here's Hubby. Okay, what's this one right here? Okay, so that one looks to be our orange marmalade. Orange marmalade? Yes. Good. Okay, you're not. <laughs> he says it's good. Bacon. He's a total baking guy, you guys. Mm -hmm. So our orange marmalade is made with, you know, um, navel oranges, California navel oranges. Um, you know, all natural. All of our, you know, fruits are made with whole natural fruits. Mm -hmm really good for you it's got fiber because mm. you know we use the entire fruit french toast yeah mm. how's it taste with the french toast amazing it brings up the the texture and the toast like the cinnamon mm -hmm. it's a little zesty okay sweet and bitter and lovely. nice lovely that's the that's what we were going for okay so now if you want to uh we'll move on to our next one we also have here, you guys take a look at that. That is the, see that guys? That is our blackberry and lemon uh, jam. Okay. We're going to have. Let me see because I'm not really a blackberry fan, so let me see. Oh, hopefully you will be after this. Mmm. Thank you. Came out good? Pretty good? You know what? I taste the lemon. The lemon. Is making a blackberry pop. If that makes sense. Yeah, perfect. Like it complements mm. it. It tastes like a starburst. Like a starburst? Like oh wow. Right into it, the, the flavor just explodes. Nice. And mm -hmm. typically, lemon is a very, very good uh, partnership with most fruits. Am I supposed to be fruits. taste testing this bacon right here? <laughs> yes, you can taste mm. test that as well. Mm. Even Better though I don't think we can make a bacon jam, but mm. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. So we have our um, we have two more flavors to go here. Mm -hmm. So now it le looks to be our. Uh, this looks it? here to be the peach. You guys have any questions? Ask away. This is a yeah. peach. Yeah, this is a, a peach. This is a peach uh, jam? Or that's what? the peach jam, right. So that's the most recent um, the most recent addition to our flavor. On, 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 on the Your lips look beautiful. Okay. They're just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> lips wow. Look, lips, lips look uh, like them little kids. You know, the little ashy kids in uh, elementary school. Like, they, they were so ashy that the parents sent them to school with lard on. And that's terrible. Grease. Like I knew kids like that. Like they were so ashy, like parents would put like chicken grease and stuff on. Them. Wow. No like, man, wonder the bugs was flying and biting man, it. You don't see your kid to school with chicken grease. <laughs> you have a bunch of uh dogs chasing you down the real, street. Though, seriously. <laughs> his name was I won't put his name out. Don't do it. Don't you know do it. <laughs> But this is peach though, right? That's the peach. Yeah, that's our peach jam. Mm. You guys that he's tasting. Oh my God. So what do you think? Mm. That right there. That's what's that? The fact that his eyes are closed, you guys. The fact oh that his God. eyes are closed. <laughs> oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. 
Them old people at church. <laughs> and we got our peach. That's our peach. That's good. So you guys, for you guys that are just oh, like getting on. So the first one we had started out with was the orange marmalade. And then from the orange marmalade, we moved on to the uh, blackberry and lemon uh, jam. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we moved on and we did just now the bite of the peach jam. Mm -hmm. So we did our peach jam. And um, the last one, we have one more. I know it's not professional, but I got to lick my lip, my, lick my fingers on there. <laughs> I don't care. Mm, it's so good. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. He's definitely going to be full after all this taste testing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, which one is this one so now we have our last one you guys that he's going to taste test and our little taste test challenge is going to be our recent most creative flavor I think is our grapefruit I made a mm. ruby red I don't know if you know some people don't like grapefruit but I love grapefruit um, not in particular the yellow ones but I love the ruby reds and let me know if you guys are are fans of grapefruit but the ruby red and the pink grapefruits are delicious to me especially when they're in season and they're really sweet so um i got the idea there to do a grapefruit marmalade so this is the one that he's going to be tasting now and i think one of you guys i don't know if it was crystal slarity uh i hope i'm saying your name right crystal please forgive me there was someone who had recommended doing a grapefruit marmalade so as we said you know when you guys come up with different suggestions for stuff Link it below. We still want in the future do like an apple cinnamon. Yes, marmalade. that's coming real soon because somebody suggested apple cinnamon marmalade. We watermelon here. We don't yeah. Need something with watermelon. So we're gonna do a. So, we're gonna try to do something with watermelon. So you guys, yeah, I'm telling you. And this is grapefruit. Let me see because I, you know, I don't really like grapefruit. So Jesus touch you if, if I like this. Hmm. <laughs> My God. He's so silly, you guys. <laughs> My man. You know what? Mm. This right here, it, it gives you that kick. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had grapefruit. Grapefruit gives you like that, that slight kick. It gives you a slight kick, but it's a, in a kick in a good way. That's good. Grapefruit, you know, mm. it's like some people, like I said, some people don't like grapefruit. I like it. But grapefruit has a, a really a really unique flavor. It's like it's sweet. That's why I like the ruby reds and the pinks. Grapefruit is it's, it has like a sweetness, but it also has that bitterness to it too. So it's like a real good um, balance of like sweet and tart with a with some bitterness to it. it. Under my hand. So silly. Like your, if I had to say my favorite one, yeah, which one is your like your favorite one? I like them all. But that peach, a peach, that is your peach, favorite. That peach had me, and maybe the orange marmalade too. But that was good. All of them were real good. But peach, because I'm a very big peach person. Me and my wife was talking earlier about having a flavor that's more subtle, mm -hmm. and then having like a peach on steroid flavor, like a variation, right? Like a variation of peach flavors, like. This one is real subtle. It's peach. You can tell it's peach. Mm -hmm. It's really good, but it's not so overpowering where it's like, oh my God, it's too sweet. But some people like it like that. Right. Right? So we'll do that. But the peach is off the hook. Like, Hi, Chanel. This peach made me feel like I just gave my life to Christ. Oh my. <laughs> you have it, you guys. No, I'm just saying. Like, like just gave it, his it life feel, to Christ. Like a, like, a, 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 like a new life experience. I'm serious. Wow. That piece so, of me want to cry. Sure. so for you guys that just tuned in, Chanel, we just did a little bit of a quick taste test. We have some new flavors out. We did a grapefruit marmalade. We did an orange marmalade, which I don't think mm. we did a taste test on that one. I just did us up a quick little breakfast uh, just to test out um, our newest flavors. <laughs> <laughs> real soon, babe, real soon, because um, we're going to still be working on some more flavors. Um, we did, like I said, we did the grapefruit marmalade, and Look I'll show you those here. Look at that plate, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, completely uh, empty. It's mm. all empty. So these are our flavors, you guys. We have the the uh, blackberry and lemon jam. We've got our grapefruit marmalade. 
See that? And then our newest addition to our jam family is going to be our peach jam. And show show them the grapes and um and show them the, the, the peach that's in here too, babe. You out in the streets, huh? Swing by good. <laughs> so if you look into the pot, so this is our pot with our peach jam. You see that? So our little jam here is just waiting. I'm gonna jar those. As you can see, when you come around over here, I've got my pots on the stove. I'm boiling and sanitizing my lids. Um, we've got our kettle. Um, over here, I've got some uh, nice fresh grapes. So as you can see, like I said, whenever we do our uh, jam recipes, um, our jams are made with natural, fresh, whole fruits. Um, is what we're using um, in our in our uh, jams, and like I said, and we prep them and we wash them. As you can see, we soak them. them bad boys. Yeah, exactly. These are these are soaking in here, sanitizing in here. Um, we're real big on sanitizing, um, which is why we have our lids in there to sterilize them. And then also in our uh, oven here, we've got our lids. I mean our lids, but our jars. See that our jars. So we put the jars in the oven so that way the um, heat from the oven, I have it probably about 325 degrees in there to clean the, um, to clean the jars. <laughs> you said she needs to get water belt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's our yeah. big old water That's belt. my favorite one too, Tamika. Hey, Tamika, I convinced her to do a, a watermelon recipe. We're going to do, for we're going to work on that for you guys. Try to do a, a watermelon uh uh, we're yeah. going to work on that. We're going to try to do a uh, watermelon uh, jam or a watermelon jelly. We'll see uh, which way because, you know, watermelon is a different um, texture of a fruit. By the way, I'm going to try to work that thing out um, for our boy that suggested doing an apple cinnamon uh, jam. I think, I, think that was, uh, I think that was Angela. It was either Angela or it was Crystal that recommended doing... Um, Doing the apple cinnamon, and and you guys that are on right now, and the people that that are going going to come on later on, recommend a flavor that you would like uh, for us to make. Yeah, because absolutely. you know, you know, like today, um, I think it was my aunt Vicky. She had well yesterday actually. She had she's like, oh, well, you know, I really like grape. Can you happy like grape? birthday on Vicky? And I was like, yo, okay, yeah, we can do grape. We'll we'll we'll, we'll do the grape. You know what I mean? Yeah, and grape is like one of my favorite flavors because you have either some people who like a lot of fruit in theirs and some people who don't. Some people like yeah. more marmalades. Some people like more jams. Some people like more jellies. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you guys see, Tamika, we got you covered. There it is, Miss Tamika. Tamika. There it is, darling. So we're gonna we're going to be. Um, we're definitely going to be hey Roz, very... hey Roz, and Roz, like what we were saying, I don't know if you, you heard this part, Roz, but um, show, show this part. Yes, I can do my taste test. Okay, so she <laughs> wants to show you her taste test, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. But what we we're going to say, Roz, is that uh, if you know a flavor that you like, let us know because what we want to do uh, once we start uh, getting out the orders, we won't. We want to send some samples out to people. Yeah, we definitely you know? want to do that, you guys. Could Somebody say, said pineapple. Yeah, that actually pineapple, sounds. That is, man, I hadn't even high thought five about that. that one. High you five. Got you got it. Pineapple. Yes. Miss Dor Dor Miss Doris, let me put my. No, don't think we being nasty. I just ate all my food off the plate from the taste test. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> like they nasty. But no, uh, Miss Doris says some apple apple cinnamon butter. Apple cinnamon, you got it, you got it, sis. We are definitely going to work on that for you. That sounds like a beautiful, yeah. Uh, because but, apples and cinnamon are they pair very very nicely together. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and especially with the butter part, because we, we we've been talking about. Matter of fact, Miss Doris, I don't know if you see these all these apples. What we decided we were going to do, we want to switch it up. I told my my wife today we got some gala uh, apples, and I convinced her to get some. Us to get some uh, Granny Smith, you know, the green ones, because those Granny Smith, as you know, have like a, sort of a bitter taste to it. Mm -hmm. And the Gala and the, uh, what nice was the other? Sour taste. Have a, the Gala has a sweet taste. Mm -hmm. The Granny has a sour taste. And so we felt like those two would pair together in a, uh, a nice little, uh, in a jelly or jam yeah. or whatever the case may be, they would offset one another. Be, uh, I'm like the mix king over here. I even mix a whole bunch of stuff. I love that. I even want to play around. I know you guys I'm doing my taste test, but what I love about 
this blackberry raspberry jam. That's the one I'm on right now. She's eating a blackberry raspberry. And Rosin said, said, and Rosin said, awesome, we'll do. She the said, honey crisp apples are delicious too. You know what? That's a good point. Honey crisp apples are actually um, really known, like those in the Gala apples are really known for being on the sorry sweets. guys for being on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. And Granny Smiths are more for your tart um, tart flavors. Mm -hmm. um, what I was saying is, I really, really am enjoying this um, blackberry um, blackberry lemon jam. The Ooh. blackberry you taste the sweetness. Um, of the blackberry coming through and then you have like that nice zesty kick of the lemon mm -hmm. uh, coming through on it so yep. I'm go ahead over she's, here she's a big proponent of putting a lot of lemon in stuff because lemon for whatever reason it like offsets a lot of stuff if something is too oh sweet God. or which one is that one this is the orange marmalade the orange oh, marmalade so good that's heaven right there folks it's orange marmalade. that'll give you a come to god experience right there it's so beautiful and then you have like so when you put this on your on your biscuits on your toast on your whatever it is that you're eating you get the nice butteriness of the french toast the cinnamon's coming through mm, this mm, french mm, toast mm, mm, mm. and then you also have that burst of orange flavor and the flavors from the oh, jellies Jesus. and the jams coming through. Um, That's not like one of my old people. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Now we're going to go ahead and move on over and try our grapefruit. This is our grapefruit marmalade. Mm, 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 mm. So we're know. definitely at pineapple. I didn't even thought about who, who was it that said pineapple so again. Different. Tamika. We're definitely gonna do that pineapple. Yeah, we definitely gonna do pineapple. We're gonna do uh, apples. Gonna do the honey crisp. The rising. You know what? About. I love that suggestion about the apple and the pineapple. And it's so funny. Pineapple had crossed my mind earlier this morning when we were at the store. I said, "Well, you know, I'll get back to that one." But um, that just definitely. <laughs> made me I'm not rise. Go I love pineapple as well. Um, like I said, um, we're definitely going to accept challenge. Challenge accepted for the apples. Challenge accepted for the pineapple. So we're definitely going to do those for our own little home challenge. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we quarantining in place <laughs> and we got to show you our mask that my wife made because in Dallas County, for whatever reason, I think they're finding people now for, for not having masks on. That's so crazy. we got burkers. We going around here looking like we like ain't. About a, to rob a stand yeah, we, we we looking like we ain't ate pork in twenty years. <laughs> we got burkers. <laughs> we look like we're ready to rob a stage. Coach. I look That's like oh, I'm a member of the nation. Ain't that wrong? Love, we love we love the nation too. It looks so but, funny. Uh, uh, I feel so <laughs> silly. I'm like, I feel like I need to be a horse, be on a horse, and riding up by a stagecoach. So oh my god! And a, a, really a big awesome. black man with locks. With a burka on, <laughs> wow. man, what we went to Walmart. The people were looking at me so crazy, like, "Oh my God, is this nigga gonna rob?" Oh we my got, God, we got a lot of <laughs> so big flavors. There. Anyway, um, big flavors there. We, we definitely the, gonna uh, get some pineapple today. We gonna get them that. We gonna get some honey, some some honey crisp, honey crisp apples. Yeah, we gonna do that. We gonna we gonna make that happen. Matter of fact. Be on the lookout tonight, you guys, because we're gonna do another video. We're gonna make something to else. We're gonna oh, so she's getting ready to try the peach right now, ladies this and gentlemen. Peach. So this is our peach, y'all. Just want to try peach. a little bit. You go to peach. Oh, that peach that. look good. You got more. You have more of yours than mine. I didn't even get that much peach. You see, you was trying to be stingy wow. with me. <laughs> you know it is right there. <laughs> you trying to be all nice. stingy with me. Her peach tastes so good. That peach is, oh my god. That peach all good. It's so good. It is. I, can tell. I promise I'm not putting too much on it. It's amazing. That's buttery toast, honey, with that crispy, you know, that oh. nice crispy bacon and the crispiness of the toast. Oh, Jesus. That peach flavor coming through. I even got Thank bits of it because this is like a sample plate. Let me get this. I've even been quick. getting um I've even been getting flavors like from the other jams that have been on here. It's so good, you guys. I cannot wait to get this into you guys' hands um, in the near future. We're going to be looking into accepting orders. So you guys just sit tight. Hold on. When oh, we send out those Jesus. orders, we're going to send those what out along with a little are. bit of uh, samples. Jesus. So that way you can kind of taste what's up and next. So that way, um, what a when you guys you get ready to 
eat those, you taste the samples, let us know what you think. Um, and hopefully by then we'll have um, orders placed for the samples, you know. So, That's this I is say. amazing. Can't wait. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. <laughs> you put us up. That's how I felt when I ate that peach. That's what I felt when I ate that peach. I was like, oh, gee. <laughs> Deep as heck. Anyway, you guys, we love you guys. We if love you, you guys. If you guys, uh, ser- on a serious note, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment below. We'll definitely look into those uh, recommendations that you guys gave us the definitely miss Doris. We love lemon. My wife, that's like her favorite thing in the world, lemon. Um, you know, uh, honey crisp apples definitely. We'll look into that and the pineapple. Matter of fact, we'll go make a grocery run because we got some other things we got to get out, as well as looking at going and getting this uh this watermelon joint done. Another thing, a side note, this will change your life. Trust me, you'll be you'll want to hear this. You'll want to hear what I'm about to say. This has nothing to do with the jam. If you really want to change your life. Let me show you. I gotta show you what you gotta get. Where where's it at, babe? Where's it at? What are you looking for? The tahini. What a tahini. Oh Lord. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to change your life, here we go. Hear me, hear me when I say this. Get you a watermelon. Where where is it at? Where's my watermelon at? Get you this right here. A watermelon. Sweet. Get you this right here. Get you some Kool-Aid and get you some tahini. Thank me later. Thank me later. Put 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 that put that watermelon in the in the freezer for about mm, twenty minutes. Get it cool. Put some of this Kool Aid on top of it. The pre made Kool Aid, the tropical punch. Put you some uh, tahini seasoning on it. It will change your life forever. Wow. Like like, like in the words of. Like in the words of Ken of Copeland, the, the false uh-huh. prophet Ken of Copeland, uh-huh. no. what he say? What he say? COVID nineteen. <laughs> I blow the wind. I blow the wind. the wind. Like for real, it, this will change your life. Seriously, check that out. We love you guys. Thank you guys for your support. Love you guys. And uh, look forward to us this evening because we'll be making a new uh, uh, preserve. All right, love you guys. God bless yes. you. Bye bye.